Welcome back to Monster Month here on It Figures and Box Office Maniacs' Horror Month. Maniacs? Is this? Is this? Anyway, so <laughs> up next is another prop from the Spirit Halloween store. And this is something I've been wanting ever since I've been a kid and the first time it ever appeared on screen, I've been wanting one of these and I finally got it. So I know you're asking yourself, where is it? What happened to it? Oh my God. Look, it, ghost, it's been ghost, it's been taken, it's been snatched by ghosts. No, actually, <laughs> these are so hard to find. I went searching for this thing for weeks before October and couldn't find them. They were literally gone in every single Spirit Halloween store. I went early thinking, okay, well, if I get there before Halloween or before October, I would have no problem finding these. Wrong, these are sold out everywhere. I could not find them. They might have them in store now, hopefully for you guys, but when I was looking for them, I couldn't find them. The only way I found this was some guy pre-ordered two of them and he uh, only took one and left this one. And when I went to the store to look at it, it, it didn't work. So I was like, oh great, of course that's why he left it. So I actually had the woman open it up for me thinking it was the batteries and she cut, actually cut the package open at the, at the spirit store and put new batteries in it for me and it worked fine and that's how I finally ended up with one of these. And what's amazing is this thing is only $34. If you don't know, you can get coupon codes for spirit. So this thing is actually 20% off that. So, and this is pretty much as close as you're gonna to get to an exact replica of the PKE meter, unless you wanna spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But I don't need to because I have one right here. So like I said, when I first saw this on screen and Egon had this and was walking through the library, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing I had ever seen, a little gadget, you know, that they made for Ghostbusters. But it looked cool and it had flashing lights and it uh, detected ghosts. And I was like, I had to have one. So here, whatever it is, 35 years later, I finally got one. Finally got my own PKE meter. And now if you don't know what this is, this is basically it's supposed to be in Ghostbusters. It's the equivalent of an actual ghost hunting device that picks up electricity in the air and it'll show you if there's a ghost nearby. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming that's sort of what this is supposed to be, but it's a you know high tech version of this thing. So it does light up, it does have sound, it does everything. So let me show you what this thing actually does. So you got two buttons down here, and the first one you push, it does this. So it doesn't last very long, it just sort of it just opens it up and closes it. And if you're wondering, yes, all these lights here do light up on the side. And I'm gonna turn some lights off so you can see the paranormal activity a little bit better here. So let's see. And the lights in the front also light up. And what's so great about this, it actually does have the screen and you know, it acts like there's a ghost nearby and it, and it blinks and that is right from the movie. If you watch the movie, his does the exact same thing. Now the second button down here does a similar thing, but it lasts a little bit longer and it does sort of something different on the screen. So let's, uh, let me, so let me show you that. So as you can see, it starts off slow and then it, and then it detects a ghost and then um, it goes away. And I just could not be more impressed with this thing. This, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this is only $35, 34 bucks. Actually, like I said it was cheaper than that for me. I, I think I paid, I don't remember what it was. It was under $30. Uh, the only thing with this, and it might make some people upset and other people may not care, is this gigantic belt loop they got going on here. And obviously this is to put it on your belt and they do sell a Ghostbusters belt that you can clip it on so you can have it hanging off your belt. 
but for Ghostbusters purists and for cosplayers and stuff, they probably will figure out a way to remove this. They'll probably take the back panel off and then take that out and, and replace it with a plug or something so he doesn't have a hole there. Because I believe there's supposed to be a pouch this fits in, not on your belt. I think it just fits into a pouch on the actual suit, but I, I don't really remember. I know it didn't have a big belt clip like that. <laughs> But what I really like about this, besides all the noise and, and the lights and everything, is these move out really smoothly. It's a very smooth movement. It's really nice. The handle here is very large. And again, this is similar to the movie. Now, as I was saying, if you wanted to go out and buy an actual prop, there are companies that make exact, exact replicas of this thing. And they're very little or no different than what this is. They're probably made out of metal. I think they're um, aged a little bit. I think there's like scuff marks on them and things like that. Obviously this thing is you know, plastic, but you know what? I don't care, because this is freaking cool. It's freaking awesome. You got a PKE meter and, and a replica of it that you can actually go into a store and buy, if you can find one. <laughs> so I love this. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite prop replicas I think I own, besides the ghost trap now. And I just kind of went Ghostbusters crazy uh, this year, as you can see. They also make a proton pack, which is about 60 bucks, that also lights up and is plastic and everything. And, and you know, it's not as impressive as the movie. But for 60 bucks for an actual light up proton pack, isn't bad either. I don't have one of those yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get one. But um, they look pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think they could have possibly done it any better job with this other than making it metal or giving it some age you know putting like some scratches on the on the plast here or, or put some paint on there so it looks like it's it's uh, metal and i'm sure there's going to be people out there who customize this and make it look like the one from the film which is going to be awesome i mean you can absolutely do that and you can do whatever i mean you can buy one you can buy two you can buy three of these and you know have different versions of these and this one and to take to like a party if you want to just go out to a casual halloween party or if you want an actual seriously cosplay as as a ghostbuster and want to make it look more movie accurate you can do whatever you want with this because it's so good so there you go every ghost hunter out there you can finally own your very own pke meter so if you did like this review make sure you hit that subscribe button and become one of our maniacs this halloween this october this horror month otherwise i'm gonna come after you who knows there might be a couple ghosts out there watching this